Since the dawn of time, mankind has done the unthinkable again. Yes, indeed. They got the flag up now, and you can see the stars. And, and again. It spans the globe like a super highway. It is called internet. And again. There's a healthier way with my Gotham Steel air fryer. And today, I'm hoping to do it one more time. 39 classes, five tiers. It's AP versus AP. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make history because today I am going to be ranking all 39 AP classes by difficulty with a twist. Are you kidding me? I mean, we could just sit here and pretend we don't know where this is going. If it's not dropout, I will literally give $50 to everyone who comments on this video. Well, here it is. My completed objective. Yes, totally objective. Ranking of all AP. You see, in high school, I took 12 AP classes, which helped me get into Harvard. Sorry, I have to say that because it makes me look really smart. But 12 is a lot less than 39. Fewer? Lot less. Lot, lot fewer? Fewer or less? That's why last month I created 39 polls to let you guys rank these 39 classes yourself. And after a whopping 195,000 votes, and through the law of large numbers or some shit, you guys have objectively ranked all 39 APs for me. But here's the actual twist. I haven't looked at any of the rankings since I created the polls. Because today I'm not just ranking for fun, I'm ranking to match you. Is AP Psychology dropout, or is it send prayers? Hard maybe, or is it not bad? What about easy? We'll just have to wait and find out. And before you guys get too excited and comment, actually the difficulty depends on the teacher, just, God, just please let me, let me have my fun with this, okay? This, this is my, the only video concept I have. Just, just leave me. So here's how today's gonna work. I'll be going over each class one by one, and after I give my ranking, we'll check it against the community ranking to see if I'm correct. If I'm not, I get one strike. And if I get five strikes, God will come down and strike me dead. I, a 23 year old man, will have to endure one of life's worst punishments. I will have to take a full length practice SAT test. Yeah. And why five strikes and not three? Because damn guys, this is hard. Give me some wiggle room, okay? Jeez. Also be sure to play along and comment how many strikes you get. Let's get to ranking. First up, we have AP Macroeconomics. I mean, basically, high GDP is good, high unemployment is bad. Yeah, that's basically the whole course. In my opinion, though, inflation is just propaganda made by the government as an excuse for why we can't print more money. Like, oh, the value of money will go down. Here's an idea. Print more money and don't tell anyone. Okay, in case any of my old econ professors are watching this, I'm just joking, obviously. I, I know why you can't do that. And based on the fact that I have an extremely solid grasp of macroeconomics, I'm gonna put this in not bad. First one on the board. I'm pretty confident in that. Now let's see what you guys put. Macroeconomics, not bad. Hard? No, it's not. Oh, that's strike number one on the first one, so that's... Good start, I guess. All right, next up we got AP Lang. Okay, this is actually gonna be tough because I can't just rank on personal experiences and bias. Like I actually have to go based off the course content difficulty, which I understand is the entire premise of the video, but I'm just a little slow sometimes. Off the bat, I know AP Lang is in a tier lower than AP Lit because Lit makes you read way harder text. And a lot more people take Lang for this reason. But Lang also has a high fail rate, so I'm kind of thrown. It's between the top two for sure, because it's harder than hard, but I don't know if it's dropout worthy. Let's put it in send prayers and see what you guys put. Let's hope I'm not over two. I said send prayers, you guys said hard. That's, how is macro as hard as Lang? All right, that's two strikes, and you probably see why I require five now. Next up we have AP statistics. One of the easier math APs for sure. If you have a solid grasp of all the different formulas, you know, mu equals P, one minus P, all that smooth jazz, and you know how to interpret Z scores and know how to use the calculator functions to your advantage, you should be good for this course. But you know what? Let's use some statistics here to really figure out how difficult this course is. In 2023, the fail rate for the course was 40%. 
which isn't fantastic, but once again, there's some selection bias here because it's one of the more popular APs and kind of attracts a wider range of skill level. You know what? I'm 95% confident that the true tier rank for AP stats is somewhere between not bad and hard. Actually, I'm 100% confident that the true tier rank is somewhere between not bad and not bad. Because it's not bad. If I'm 0 for 3, I'm just gonna restart the video and you guys will never know. I don't, I can't, I can't take a full SAT right now. AP statistics, I said not bad. You guys said not bad. Thank the Lord, actually. Jeez. Next up is AP Chemistry. And I just made the executive decision that we're going to rank these faster because we got a lot to get through. I mean, chemistry is kind of easy to rank because literally everyone complains about it. It's impossible to self-study. The material is dense. And I've seen it make my friends cry. So this one's immediately going drop out and we're not looking back. I'm so confident in this that if it's not dropout, I will literally give $50 to everyone who comments on this video. Chemistry, we said dropout. Yeah, 63% said dropout, let's go. All right, easy. Next up is AP US government. All right, got instinct, I'm ruling out dropout, send prayers and easy. Gov is difficult to evaluate because there's actually a lot you have to know from the court cases, the powers of Congress, the three branches, there's history in there as well. So there's a good amount of material. But see, that's gonna be all of the social studies APs, and I know Gov is one of the easier ones. So we'll go not bad again. All right, three and not bad already. That's crazy. All right, I said not bad. Correct, 63%, let's go, let's go, we're on a roll. Next up is AP Spanish language. This is what smart people take as their fourth year of Spanish. I, on the other hand, dropped Spanish after Spanish two because I was getting a little too gusta at speaking and I didn't want it to mess with my English. And it's definitely not because I couldn't fit it into my schedule. So it's a fourth year language and it also teaches you about culture, but the level of text analysis isn't as deep as English lang, but it's also not your first language, so you don't expect it to be. I'm gonna match what I put in lang. I'm going to send prayers for this one. Me gusta. <laughs> Okay, I should send prayers. You guys said send prayers at 42%. Plurality, we'll take it. Next up, we got AP Bio. All right, immediately rule out the bottom two because this class is at least hard. I mean, I wasn't allowed to take it until senior year. It's easier than chem and the physics C's, so it's not dropout. But is it hard? No, no, I got, I got a four in bio and I would never get a four in a class that's third on the difficulty tier. That's just, that's a disgrace. I would never do that. This one's going to send prayers as well. All right, once again, a bit of an uneven distribution so far. All right, I said send prayers. Hard, damn it. Can I overrule on these? I feel like that's just not accurate. All right, whatever. That's the third strike. Next up, we have AP Calc AB, and we know immediately that this is gonna be at least a tier lower than BC, so that at least rules out dropout. It's not easy. Is it not bad? No, no, I, I got a four on AP Calc, and I would never ever get a four on a class that's fourth on the tier difficulty. I would never do that, that's a disgrace. Limits, derivatives, and integrals. Will that have you on your knees sending prayers though? No, because all you got to do is add C. And by add C, I mean add C to your GPA because that's what you're getting in this class. Because it's hard. And yeah, that was a good one. First one on hard. AP Calc AB. I said hard, you said not bad. Or are all you guys so smart? Strike four. Okay. All right, on that note, AP Psychology is next. Okay, I kind of hate when people talk about AP Psychology because everyone's like, oh, it's so easy. Oh, it's a free five. Oh, Mahan, why'd you major in psychology? You wasted your Harvard education for a useless degree. Like, God, mom, I know what I'm doing. In fact, I think so few people recognize the true difficulty and complexity of the real science that is psychology that I want to put a dropout, but I know public opinion isn't there, so I can't do that. I guess some could argue that AP Psych is easy because hypothetically, it's just a lot of memorization. And hypothetically, that's all you really need to do to get a five. So let's hypothetically put it in easy. God's gonna hurt my soul. All right, let's see what you guys put. Not bad. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna overrule that one because no, that, that just that's just not true. I'm sticking with four strikes. I don't care. I'm sticking with four. That's just that's not that's not correct. That's not correct. Next up, we got. AP European history. See, Euro seems hard because it focuses on the entirety of Europe from like the Renaissance to the 20th century, but that just really means it doesn't focus on any one country or time period that much. Good amount of time, good, still a good amount of time periods and kings and all that to remember, but it's just, 
In my opinion, this is much easier than A push, so I'm going not bad. I say not bad, you say not bad. Okay, holding strong at four strikes. Psychology didn't count. Next up is, no, it's A push. Speaking of A push, research shows that students who subscribe are three times more likely to score a five on their AP exam. And this jumps to five times when they like the video. So like, subscribe, and let's get back to ranking. This is by far the hardest history AP because it focuses on one country that's done a lot of messed up shit. So, I mean, you really learn the ins and outs of social trends, imperialism, war, the economy. There's a lot to cover in A-Push. I don't think it belongs with a big boy like him though. And I would honestly put it in send prayers, but the fact that you guys put Lang and Bio and hard makes me think that maybe you guys are just really smart. So I'm going to put this in hard. There we go. All right, I said hard. Yeah, 51% of you said hard. I'm, I think I'm starting to see the trend now. Next up is AP Computer Science A. From what I hear, it's a solid-ish introduction to computer science and while programming experience would be nice, it's not really required. On the other hand, computer science principles is kind of a joke of a class. I mean, let's be honest, we all know where that one's going. Let's put this one a tier above at not bad. Oh God, it's not gonna fit. All right, not bad. Yep, 56% said not bad. All right, solid. Next up is AP Physics 1. I just realized it'd be helpful if I rank each class within each tier as well, but honestly, that's too much work for me, so we're not gonna do that. Technically, Physics 1 is the introductory physics AP that focuses on a lot of stuff you'd find in any honors physics class. Kinematics, energy, circular motion, gravity, all the good stuff. See, I wanna put this in send prayers because I know there are harder physics out there, but all four are pretty damn difficult. So I shouldn't just judge it off that. Honestly, every physics is dropout, so let's just put it there. It's also important to note that I couldn't add a didn't take option on the YouTube polls because I'm only allowed five options, which leads me to believe the people who didn't take the courses just kind of rank them based off how difficult they sound. Physics one, dropout? Yes, yeah, dropout. Next up is AP Seminar. All right, not gonna lie, I don't know too much about Seminar except for the fact that it has the highest pass rate of all the AP exams. It's the class that will train you to work with groups, create presentations, and defend your work. Basically, it'll teach you the academic skills you need to succeed in any discipline. Thing is, I gotta put it in easy because I don't really think it's harder than any actual course up here. AP Seminar easy? Yeah, 75% said easy. Next up is AP Research, which is basically the second half of AP Seminar. You'll conduct a year-long independent research project with the skills you learn from Seminar, but once again, I don't think it's harder than any of the courses up here, so I'm gonna put it in easy again. All right, AP Research easy. Yeah, 73% said easy. Next up, we have AP Art History. This class covers artwork all the way back from 30,000 BCE to the present day, but obviously you're not just looking at pretty pictures all class. You're gonna have to create theories on the meanings of different artworks and then connect old styles to new styles and the traditions at the time. And yeah, it's a lot. From what I hear, it's definitely at least somewhat difficult. So I'm gonna chuck it in hard. I say hard, 64% say easy. See, I don't think that the people who are voting on this poll actually took the course. But according to Chum Chum LOL, AP Art History is not fudging easy. So I'm gonna go with him and say that you guys are wrong on this one. All right, new rule real quick. If her rating is obviously wrong, we're just not gonna count it. I'm doing anything to not take this SAT exam. Next up is AP Physics C E and M. I mean, we could just sit here and pretend we don't know where this is going, or we could just put it there and move on. So let's just do that. Oh wow, 10,000 people voted on this one. Dropout, yeah, 75% had dropout. Next up is AP Comparative Government. You're basically comparing the governments of six countries, which are China, Iran, Mexico, Nigeria, Russia, and the United Kingdom. You learn a bit about the political history of each and get into their political systems and how they affect society. Similar to Euro, even though it focuses on more countries, it's universally seen as easier than Gov. I, I can't put it in good faith with seminar and research though, so I'm going not bad. All right, moment of truth, 65% said not bad. Next up is AP Lit. I did say before that Lang is a tier lower than Lit and Lang is send prayers, but you guys said it was hard. So this is either send prayers or drop out. And honestly, in absolute difficulty, I don't think it stacks up with the physics and chems. So we'll go send prayers. Ah. 
Is it Sen Prayers? 51% Sen Sen Prayers. Next up, we got AP Physics C Mechanics. I don't, I'm not gonna say anything. We, we all know where this one's going. Yep. Join your brother up there. Dropout? Yeah, 75% said dropout. Next up is AP Spanish Lit. I'm just gonna follow the same philosophy as before and put it one tier above what you guys put the lame version. Which honestly, fair enough. I mean, imagine reading complex Spanish literature when that's your second language. Is it dropout? 41% said dropout. That was bimodal though, almost. Next up is AP Computer Science Principles. I'm pretty sure you can make your final project for this class in Scratch, and for that reason and that reason alone, I'm putting it in easy. Is it easy? Yes, yeah, 77% said easy. Next up is AP Precalc. I mean, it's an AP class and it has pre in the name. This one's going easy as well. I'm not even gonna check that one because I know you guys put easy. Next up is AP Microeconomics. This one focuses more on individual decision-making, supply equals demand and you're good. We'll put it in not bad with macro. Okay, the rest are gonna start overflowing. Not bad. Oh shit, I forgot you guys rated macro hard. So obviously you're gonna rate micro hard too. All right, yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it to you there. Oh shit, okay. We're, we're taking the test. But the show goes on, AP Physics 2, dropout. All physics, like I said, are dropout. Especially this one, this one focuses on fluids and thermodynamics. Yeah, that one's easily up here. Once again, I'm not gonna check, I know it's dropout. Next up is AP Calc BC, which is basically AP Calc AB, but for nerds. AB Calc is basically one semester of college level calc, and BC is two semesters worth. Which means it's also two tiers harder than AB, so this one's going dropout as well. No more gonna fit up there. I said dropout, 49% said dropout. Next up is AP Environmental Science. You spend a year learning that pollution is bad and the keystone species are good, so this one's this one's going easy. Easy? Wow, 80% said easy. That's the, the highest majority so far. Next up is AP World History. AP World is difficult because it covers, you know, the whole world, but as we know, just because it has breadth doesn't mean it has depth. I mean, this class is useful if you want to get a foundational understanding of all major world events, but uh, it's easier than Euro, A-Push. Still history hard. We'll put it in hard. I say it's hard. You guys say it's not bad. Good for you. And last up, we have AP Human Geography, which I think the entire planet knows it's going in easy. So let me just end my demise and suffering here so I could go take that test. You could put the ranking up, but I know it's easy. Now you might be thinking, Maha, there's only 29 AP classes. You said there were 39. No, I didn't. I never said that. When did I say that? I mean, look at the title. That says 29 classes. Nah, I'm just kidding. The 10 missing are the four art and music classes and the six languages that native speakers just take for the free five. That's why I created a new category for them. Depends. Because how difficult it is for you depends on your prior skill level. Well, here it is. My completed objective. Yes, totally objective. Ranking of all AP classes by difficulty. And here are the classes I ranked incorrectly. Well, supposedly incorrectly. I kind of disagree with a lot of them there, but you know, I'm not going to make a big deal. Subscribe.